Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. This is Pastor Shegun Obaje. Um, God has a word for you today, and he has sent me to tell you that you are unique. You are one of a kind. You are not common. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because God made you a unique being, peculiar, different, uncommon, out of this world. When God made you, you were state of the art. You were unique, just different from every other person. And that's who you are. And I like to tell you that you should celebrate your uniqueness. You are unique in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this scripture comes to mind, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, but you are a chosen generation. Look at that. That means he chose you. He chose you out of multitudes. He chose you. He says you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. <laughs> Glory to God. You've been called out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. Hallelujah. And so celebrate your uniqueness today. You are a peculiar individual with peculiar traits, unique to you and you alone. God made you a unique person. He cut you out specially. He spent time on you and he made you so different from everyone else. You are unique. Glory to God. You are different. You know, when a man gets born again, it is the spirit that gets saved, that gets born again. You know, the soul can only be renewed after a man has been saved, born again. The soul is renewed. Why? Because God doesn't want to reconfigure your soul. All right? Your soul is peculiar to you, is unique to you. And so when a man gets born again, his spirit is recreated, but his soul is transformed. That means comes into alignment with the word of God. Why? Because your person is in your soul. You are unique. You are different. So stop imitating others, trying to be like others. Don't do that. You are unique. God cut you out in a special way to make you different from everyone else so that you can live a unique life and you can have a peculiar signature that is different from everyone else's. That is God's plan for you. Amen. You are uncommon. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are unique. You are vital to God and to his plan on earth. And you have a peculiar and a unique purpose to you. That means God made you to solve a unique problem, a different, a unique, a, a peculiar problem because you are peculiar. And that's why you have to look for the challenge that God has cut you out to solve. Amen. Don't solve common challenges. Solve and resolve uncommon problems. Praise God. And that's who you are. You're uncommon. You believe that? I know you do. In the name of Jesus Christ, celebrate your uniqueness. Wrap your arms around yourself and just love yourself and say, thank you, Heavenly Father, for making me the me that I am. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Until I see you again tomorrow, keep basking in the sphere of grace. God bless you.